friends, welcome back to my channel and a very special welcome if you're new here. My name is Jen, I'm a certified weight loss and nutrition coach and I follow Weight Watchers and I count calories and macros. Happy Saturday, it is Saturday so it's grocery haul day. And I have a ton of new food finds. I actually hit the mother load for new food finds this week. I'm super excited. So if you're excited too, give this video a big, huge thumbs up. Subscribe if you're not, because we do a grocery haul every Saturday and I upload five videos every single week. Down in the description box, I will link nutrition coaching where I offer personalized to you macros and calories. Highly recommend. This is how I lost 90 pounds in 2022 and one-on-one -on -one coaching. If you would like to chat with me directly, my dogs are playing if you hear them and of course in the description box you'll also find my favorite things and my Facebook group come on over join us we'd love to have you so let me flip you around and let's jump into my grocery haul Here is my grocery haul for the week. I shopped at both Sprouts and Walmart and I have a ton, and when I say a ton, a ton of new food finds for you. So let me show you what I picked up. I saw these in the clearance section at Sprouts actually. They have a little clearance area outside the restrooms and I saw these and I thought that I would try them. They had different flavors. These are the Upland Freeze Dried Bites. So these ones have strawberry, beets, quinoa, sunflower seeds, and pumpkin seeds. And they have four grams of sugar and the whole package is only 140 calories. I just thought that this would be fun on yogurt because you know how I love freeze dried fruit on yogurt. They had one with chocolate and then they had a turmeric pineapple one. They were $3.99 I think. So if I like this, I may actually pick up a few more packets. I also had to get my Chetties. These are my favorite crackers. I love these because they actually have some protein in them and they taste like a Cheez-It but better. I think the cheese flavor is more authentic than a Cheez-It and I really, really love them. They are pretty pricey. I think it's $5.49 for the box. So I savor them, but I really love them. So I did decide to pick those up for the week. I needed a can of crushed tomatoes for a dinner recipe. They had their no sugar added Cleo bars, two for $3. And I love the coconut one, like really, really love the coconut one. So I grabbed two of those and I thought that that would be a really good sweet treat. And there's a good amount of protein in there as well. And then over in the bulk section, I grabbed some more dried mango. I've been loving having dried mango as a snack. And it was actually more affordable at Sprouts than the little bags I usually buy at Trader Joe's. I don't know if it's as good, but I decided to try try that. And then in this bag is some trail mix. This is a protein trail mix. So there's actually little protein clusters in there. There's almonds, pecans, peanuts, a few other nuts in there as well. Little chocolate things. So I'm excited about that. And then I actually shared these in the big snack haul that I did a long time ago, healthy snack haul. And these were on clearance for $2.50 a bag. And I want to say they are normally $5. They are so good. It's this sour cream and onion, but they're actually made out of cassava flour. And they're really Really, really good. I love them. So a much healthier option for a sour cream and onion chip. And then of course, lots of produce. So two packs of blackberries, two packs of raspberries. This little container of pre-cut up pineapple was on sale for $2. I'm actually going to have this with my lunch today. I needed some green onions and parsley for a recipe. I picked up three avocados, two that are not ripe, one that is so that I can make guacamole. My little mini cucumbers that you know that we absolutely love. And then I've never had these. These are the uh, cotton candy grapes. I've heard really good things about them. And then I've heard that they don't taste any different than regular grapes. So I wanted to try them. They were on sale for $2.98 a pound, which is a really good deal. So I grabbed just a small amount to test those out. And then lastly, some broccoli for a dinner recipe. First thing I grabbed is Rice Krispies. I need this for my meal prep. It actually called for brown rice crisps, but I couldn't find them. Actually, I probably could have found them at Sprouts, but I didn't look there. I looked at Walmart and they didn't have them. So Rice Krispies it is. I am making a lasagna soup, so I picked up some lasagna noodles. I have not had my Gilbert sausages in a hot minute and I love them. They are a very, very easy lunch or dinner. So I picked up the Caprese. These ones are my favorite. I mean, all the Gilbert sausages are really good, but I love the Caprese. And then over in the little clearance area, I found some super exciting things. Lots of new food finds. So 
first are these from the brand Haribo. These are like little individually wrapped mints, kind of like Mentos. I love having a mint after a meal just to kind of freshen my breath. And I thought these would be great. I could throw them into my purse because they are individually wrapped and they were on clearance for $1.30. Also, I love ginger chews. I eat ginger chews after most of my meals to help with digestion. These same ginger chews are about $5 at Sprouts and they were $2.21. And then this was pretty exciting. So I have never tried any of these. I mean, I've tried Lily's before, but I've never tried this confetti white chocolate style bar, like a candy bar. It was $1.73 and it's supposed to be like a birthday cake flavored chocolate bar. After dinner, sometimes I like to have just a small piece of chocolate for dessert and I thought this would be perfect. And speaking of chocolate, I found these. These are actually from the brand Russell Stouffer and these are called Joy Bites. And this is caramel and chocolate and they're no sugar added. So they were $2.54 a piece. A serving is only 110 calories, which I thought was really, really good and pretty low carbohydrates for chocolate. So I grabbed the caramel and then they also had the peanut butter filled ones, which I'm thinking may be like a Reese's. So I thought I'd grab those sweet treats because you can't pass up the great price. I also grabbed another box of sugar-free jello pudding for protein pudding. Tomato paste because I was completely out. Pre-cooked bacon because that's what we do around here. It's much easier than having to cook bacon myself, so I bought the great value pre-cooked bacon. This little pretzel string cheese apple snack pack, I'm sending this with Troy. He's heading out for a little bit today, so I'm sending this with him for a snack. And then I love this cheese. I'm so glad that I found this. This is a Sargento reduced fat pepper Jack. Pepper Jack cheese is my favorite, but I do have to watch my fat. And so this is really helpful. It just saves me a little bit of fat. And honestly, the cheese tastes exactly the same. I love making melts with this, with my lavash bread. So I picked another pack up. I need low fat ricotta cheese for that lasagna recipe. And then two new flavors of Chobani complete yogurt shakes. I've never tried either one of these. First is mixed berry vanilla and cookies and cream. I love these. They have 20 grams of protein in them and they are so great for an on the go quick snack. I love having these on hand. I tried the two good ones. They are very good as well, but I have to say, I actually think I like the Chobani better. And like I said, I've never tried or seen either of these flavors before. More of my tuna packs. This has truly been a go-to for me. You saw in my, what I eat in a day on Wednesday. I'll link it if you missed it. This is what I had for lunch. I made kind of a snack plate using these tuna packets. So I picked up a honey barbecue. I haven't tried this one. I love the sweet and spicy. Didn't think I would, but I would would say that that one and lemon pepper are my all-time favorite and these are only a dollar a pack at Walmart and then my lavash bread my baby they didn't have it the last time I did a Walmart pickup this is what I like to make my melts and my wraps out of some low-fat mozzarella cheese for a couple of dinner recipes and this was something I've never seen before I have a recipe that actually calls for crunchy peanut butter and I don't have any crunchy peanut butter on hand it's for my meal prep actually Skippy has a crunchy, no sugar added peanut butter. What was interesting is it does have more calories than regular peanut butter. So normally it's 190, this is 210, but this peanut butter has seven grams of protein and only four carbs versus about 15 carbs. So I'm really curious on how this is going to taste. I may try it on a rice cake and then of course use it in that recipe, but I have never seen this before. They also had the no sugar added creamy. This was another new thing that I saw. This is Gatorade fit. This says healthy, real hydration. So there's no added anything to this. There's electrolytes and I got the watermelon and sea salt. They had about half a dozen different flavors. So if I like this, this will be a great thing to refuel after a workout or even have before a workout. So I'm excited to try that. I have a recipe that calls for chicken broth and I've been using bone broth in place of regular chicken broth because bone broth actually has protein in it. So I picked up a box. And then lastly, just for convenience, we love having these instant potatoes on hand and I've never tried the Betty Crocker one so I picked up all three flavors they had so they had creamy butter roasted garlic and I thought this was interesting they had sweet potato so I'm actually really excited about those again super quick easy lunch or dinner what's not shown is Gatorade Zero and a case of Diet Coke for Troy so that is everything that I picked up for the week let's jump into what is on my menu for dinners and what you'll see in Monday's meal prep so here's what's on my menu for the week. Today, Saturday, it's out to dinner. Tomorrow, we're gonna do burgers on our Blackstone Grill. Monday, I'm making a ground beef pasta skillet. You guys, 
will actually see this recipe in Wednesdays, what I eat in a day. Tuesday, we do leftovers. Wednesday, I'm making lasagna soup. Super excited for that. And then Thursday and Friday, we do leftovers as well. And here's what you'll see in Monday's meal prep. I'm actually really excited for these three recipes. For breakfast, I'm doing a bacon and egg quesadilla. For lunch, I am doing a cashew chicken stir fry. I've been craving stir fry and I love cashew chicken. And then for a sweet treat, these are going to be the bomb.com. I'm doing a peanut butter cup protein rice crispy treat. So stay tuned on Monday for all three recipes. Thank you for joining me for another grocery haul. I hope you enjoyed seeing all my new food finds, what's on my menu for dinners, and don't miss Monday's meal prep because those three recipes are going to be so good. If you enjoyed the video, give it a big thumbs up. Hashtag dog mom. And of course, subscribe if you're not because I do a grocery haul every Saturday in five videos every single week. Again, check out the description box for nutrition coaching, links and discounts to my favorite things. And don't forget, come join our Facebook group. We'd love to have you. Lola Palmer and I say thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.